How easy was that? All right. Hey, everybody, can y'all hear us yet? Hey, Michelle Lee. Hey, Vintage Conversation. Hi, Tiger. Yeah, hey, Tiger. Hey, Jen. Hey, Diane. Diane. Hey, Carrie. Can y'all hear us? My Arkansas Razorbacks took care of Georgia tonight, 10 to 2. I didn't get to watch it. Oh, my God, 10 to 2. And Georgia, I thought Georgia was pretty good. Maybe not. Can you guys hear us? Nobody said yes yet, did they? No. Hey, Angela, can you hear us, Angela? Hey, Michelle Peter, uh, Peterson, I'm sorry. Hey, Randy. Hey, Southern Mermaid. Surely if they couldn't hear us, they'd be telling us, wouldn't they? Connie said, oh. yes, you can hear us. Yes. Okay, good. Thank okay. you. <laughs> loud and clear, finish conversation. I know I'm so loud. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, y'all, <laughs> I know I look like a cat's been sucking on my head, but I went to uh, Caleb's graduation tonight. And then the little party afterwards, and I got in a downpour. Hey, Rebecca, I got in a downpour, so you know I did. I did the best I could because I I hadn't been home long. I've been home about I guess twenty five minutes. Hey, Roxana. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Olivia. How are you doing, baby? Hey, Katie Sunshine. Hey, Barb. Hi, Randy. Three sheets, Marie. What's happening? Hey, Michelle Gomez. Dean Oliver, what you doing, sweetie? Hi, Peterson. Y'all gonna hang with us tonight? Hi, Elizabeth. Pat Doodles. Randy Hyman. Hi, Pat Doodles. Mm -hmm. How are you? Oh, Angela, yes. Well, uh, consent you would you would say that anyway, baby, because you just love me to pieces. Hi, Gia. But I, Gee, ended, did, I got, I mean, got soaked. I mean, so Daniel, my shirt is still, my shirt is still down. Gia, did you I, get all of your plates for me? Hi, Daniel. Jane Newhouse, how are you doing? Southern Mermaid, you too. Here they are. <laughs> Tiger, you're a mess. You are a mess. Jane, I was in your cell last night, baby, but I could not make my, I made myself stay out of that chat because I would have got caught up in it and wouldn't finish my work last night. So I, so I didn't. And hey, Patricia, I know you're here lurking around somewhere. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Poor old Sabrina. It's stuck in a hotel room in Ohio. Now, the last time I was in a hotel room, the lighting was horrible. Is it better now? I can see you fine. I don't know okay. how, how it looks on their end, but I can see you fine. Let me I, see have what it looks like light. On I have four lights this time that I brought with me. So hopefully it's better. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Oh, good. Yeah, I can see you Thanks, good. Peter. And I'll do the, uh, if I can figure this out again, Lord, I don't know it enough for nothing. I'll, I'll make you big and do all that. You know what I'm saying? When right. When you're going to show something. Okay. Let me see if I missed anybody. Nope, I got Patricia. She looks like the last one I hadn't said anything to. <laughs> what are y'all doing tonight? Has it been right? Hey, Belinda. Hi, Belinda. It raining and storming anywhere. Oh, and to top it all off, to top it all off, I hate Spectrum. I hate them with a passion. To top it all off, I was just over there just to getting it today, just to getting with my invoice and everything. And all of a sudden it said, my computer started going, and it said, no internet connection. And I thought, well, what in the heck? You know? So I went in there, didn't have no TV. My phone was out. So um, I got online and looked it up and it said, 
outage in your area. Okay, now get, keep in mind, this is at 9.15 in the morning. Uh, we're sorry, but there is a, a scheduled outage in your area. What that means, I don't know. And we will have the, uh, we will have you back up and running. And it said, by such and such, enter your zip code. So I entered my zip code and it said 4.30 p.m. So when I left here going up to uh, my brother's house in Birmingham, I still didn't have no internet. So I was just, I was just praying to the good Lord when I got home, I'd have some. I guess I'd have had to go up down to this uh, foot of the hill to the speed mark and use their internet if I had not. Hey, Gabby. Hey, Barbara. Virtual hug to you too, Chicago lady. Hi, hey, Chicago lady. Southern okay. mermaid. I guess we better get started or we'll be here to midnight, won't we? All right, <laughs> Sabrina, I'm going to let you go first, baby. And let me see if I can figure out how to do this. Hold on. Okay. Um, solo layout. There you go. All right. Well, my first is going to be this paperweight. Now, it does have bubbles, um, but it's not like it's not a piece of Murano or anything. It's just a paperweight, but it's it's very pretty. It's got this flower in it. It does oh, have it does have a smooth bottom that has been polished. So like I said, it, it does have bubbles, but it's not you know controlled bubbles but it does have bubbles throughout. So it has that very pretty blue flower in there. And again, the smooth polished bottom. And this is about, I didn't write down, it's about three inches. And for this paperweight, it is twelve dollars number one. Twelve dollars number one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me try to get this. Okay. All right, let's see. There you go. Hey, Gabby. Oh, thank you, Chicago lady. <laughs> Y'all know how to make a girl feel better. Hey, Karen, how are you, honey? Okay. Up next, I have some uh, handmade ceramic jewelry pieces. And this one is a pretty little um, birdhouse brooch with a sweet little birds in it. And I can't get it to sit right. Well, snot. Snot and be darned. Let me just hold it if I can get it up there. This pretty little, see the little bird she's got on there? Oh, she's got the red pretty. bird and the little blue bird. And all of those flowers are like, uh, right, you know, uh, hand painted on there and the little birds are dimensional all three of them and it's just a handmade ceramic brooch let me see how long this i think it's an inch and a half but let me make sure no it's two two and a quarter inches long this little ceramic brooch is and it's very lightweight to be so substantial of a brooch let's see like well it ain't that big i mean it ain't gaudy or nothing but this sweet little brooch is $12, and it is number 43. $12, number 43. Hey, Book. Hey, Cam. How are you? Let me see who else I missed. Oh, let me get Sabrina up there. <gasps> Patricia, I got you for number 43. Uh-oh. Let's see. Oh, Lordy. 
Oh, I got to do this. I got to put us both up there. Okay. Solo layout. All right. Thank you, Pam. Now, next, I have a set. It's a brooch and a pair of clip-on earrings. And the they are signed uh, listener, L-I-S-N-E-R. This is the brooch. It's a silver tone leaf. So you would wear it like this. This is the back. And the earrings are marked as well. Same thing. Of course, there's two of them. So you're getting the earrings and the brooch. And it does come in the box and this is going to be $25 number three $25 number three okay Okay, up next I have this new set uh, of Coldwater Creek jewelry, and I'm going to pull this up so you can see how to, it's a double strand of these blue and purple little clusters, and then the earrings are also that blue and purple cluster. And if you, when you turn them around, like when you're wearing them, they have this Sweet little rhinestone. Hold on, let me get it. Well, shoot. There it is. The sweet little rhinestone that'll be facing out. And they're the lever back. These real comfortable, you know, like the little lever back ones. Or that's what I call them. I don't know if that's what they are or not. But it's just pretty little dangles. And it's purple and navy blue. And then this necklace, can you can adjust it. But it in its entirety like as long as it can get it is thirty eight inches long well you know what I mean Th like nineteen inches on each side but you can shorten it all you want to but that's how it would be down on you it's just a long necklace real long and this set and like I said it is both of them are new and it is, uh, the set is $16, and it is number 40. $16, number 40. Hey, Auntie Christy. Hey, Maria. How are y'all tonight? Okay, let me get you back up here. <coughs> I got Michelle Lee for number 40. All right. I have a Fenton slipper or shoe. It's pink. And this is the, what they call the cabbage rose. So it has the, the roses all the way around. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and that old peg around the top of it, too. Yep. The white all the way around the, the top. And then the rose right here in the front. And it is about six inches long. There's no chips or cracks or, or any problems with this. And it is marked with the Fenton mark on the bottom of the shoe right there 
For this, I'm asking $16 and the number is seven. $16, number seven. Hi, Chicago lady. Okay, let's say. And Oops. Patricia, I see you. Thank you. Hi, Margo. And somebody else came in. I couldn't see who it was. Margo and Janet Green. Hey, Janet, how are you? Hey, uh, who was that that came in? Michelle Gomez, you might need to refresh, baby, because number 40 was way a while ago. Refresh and then come back in and uh, make sure you get the live chat button, baby. Because you was uh, you came in late on that last one. Hey, Auntie Christy. Okay, up next I have this beautiful, beautiful little hand-painted brooch. Let me see if I can get this one to stay on there. It's an oval shape, and uh, the setting is like a, nope, might as well just leave that. That's worthless. It's tits on a boar hog, I'm telling you. Tits on a boar hog. All right, it's lavender, and then the setting is like that antiqued gold, and these little flowers are white with the little leaves on it, just hand-painted all over there. And this kind of looks like it's just, it's just a swirl of lavender color on there and here's the back it's got the opening right there and then it's real it's real well made i wouldn't say it's heavy but it's just a real well made little brooch and it is one and a half inches long one and a half inches long on this sweet little brooch right here and this little brooch is ten dollars and it's number 44. ten dollars number 44. Hi, Dana. And hey, finished conversation. Hey, who else was it? I said, oh, Debbie Shaw. Hey, baby. Okay, Patricia, you got number 44. I have a set of three dogs. They're made by Homeco. They each have the sticker on the bottom. Oh. This one is laying like that. This one is sitting like this. And this one is sitting like this and scratching his ear. Oh, how cute. Aren't they so adorable? So you're getting all three of these. Mm. And I'm not sure of the breed. I knew it, and then I was second-guessing myself, but they're all the same from the same litter. And for these three little dogs, they are $14, number 14. $14, number 14. Oh, Basset Hound. You are correct, Vintage Peep Show. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's an ongoing debate between Bassets and Beagles. And Beagles, yep. <laughs> but that's Hi, what Tony. I thought. Was the Basset. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Oh, no, no problem, honey. No problem at all. I'm just glad you're here, baby. You just hang anytime. All right, this is a set that I made. It's got the talk. Well, it's not. Let me get me. See, Lord, you can lead me to the water hole, but it's got a toggle clasp right there that's real easy to put on by yourself. And I just made this because it looked like real summery and beachy like. And it's just got this uh, dichroic glass starfish with blues and whites and silvers and everything and just this art glass beads and then these look like um sea glass but they're not they're they're um beads just made to look like sea glass and i made these little starfish earrings 
to go with it. And they're just like the uh, the big piece in the center. You know, but it's, I just thought it would be very, you know, pretty and beachy. And if anybody's planning a vacation, this would just be perfect for it. And this, um, the starfish necklace and earring set is $18 and it's number 32. $18, number 32. Well, thank you, Sandra. How are you doing tonight? Yes, I made them, Auntie Christy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Katie Sunshine and Debbie. Good night, Joanne, honey. I hope you have a good sleep. I really do. Walmart will wear anybody out. Walmart will wear a young woman out. <laughs> let me just okay. Let me get. Let's see. Thank you, Sheila. Let's see. Sweet baby Jane, back up there. There you go, baby. All right. I have this vintage abalone inlay cherry um, jewelry box. First, let me show you the front. It has a peacock on it. And, and flowers. And in the front, the closure is a turtle. And that's how you open it. Oh. And then inside, it has the piece where you can put your rings, your your bracelets, whatever. Now, this just sits inside of it. So, and it's not very big. So, what I had in mind was if you did not want to use this piece, and it's not well made, is to just take it out if you didn't want to use this, and use this as a trinket box, or just to hold your belongings. Um, it does have a beautiful mirror. There's nothing wrong with the mirror. But if you did want to use this, then you can always just glue it down into the bottom. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can use this in, in a couple of different ways. Now on the front, there are fish on both sides of the turtle closure. And there's the front again. Let me get the measurements for you really quick. It's six inches long and about two and a quarter inches tall. And and this is eighteen dollars, number seventeen. Eighteen dollars, number seventeen. Okay, let's see. Oh, thank you, Debbie Shaw. Okay, hey, Christy, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Oh, yeah. Okay, up next is another one of these artisan pieces, and this is another birdhouse, but it has flowers all over it. It doesn't have, um, hmm. oh, there you can see it a little bit better. It has all kind of flowers, and the bird, there's a little bitty blue bird up on top of it, but the rest of it on the bottom is just green leaves and flowers. And it is, let's see how long this one is. It's exactly three inches long, and it is just so sweet. I mean, it's just so sweet. And it's, like I said, to be so big, you know, so long and everything, they're just like wearing nothing. I mean, they're it's just so light. And this little birdhouse, the three-inch long one, is $14, and it is number 41. $14, number 41. Hey, Cricket. Hey, Katie Bug.
a lot. <laughs> Okay, hold on just a minute. Let me get this. I don't have myself enough room up here tonight. Hi, Jennifer, Cricket, Katie. All right. Well, I have another shoe. This one is, is about six and a half inches as well. And this one has the cat. It's a green hobnail. Oh. Now, the only difference with this one, it is not stamped with the Fenton on the bottom. I'm pretty confident that it is. But I'm, I'm, you know, I can't say for sure because it's not stamped Fenton. Um. But, it, I mean, it has all the indications of being Fenton. It looks just like it. It's got the weight, but it do, it's not stamped with Fenton brand. Um, but this one is $16, number 13. $16, number 13. Oh, I don't even have anything out here yet. Hang on. <laughs> I don't. Golly, Bama's in here reading everybody. Oh, okay. Now, I got this uh, jar today. I just picked this up. Oh, hold on a minute. Probably Cricket. I picked this up at a yard sale I went to today. It was a little private pick. The the lady that runs the estate sale company just called me. Did I say yard sale? It was an estate sale. Oh, my God. And anyway, I didn't have a hardly any time because, you know, I had to scoot to Birmingham. And this was sitting in the lady's sewing room. I have not opened it. I haven't even looked in it. But I know it's just a jar of vintage buttons. It's a pint size. Uh, ball fruit jar. Yeah, ball perfect mason fruit jar. And it's just full of buttons. I could not tell you. I do see some pearl ones in there. I see some of those, you know, all kind of pearlized ones. I see mother of pearl. I see some of those that have the little hooks on the back that you tack on. I see some big old coat buttons. But anyway, that's it. Yes, it could have a million dollar coin inside, Peterson. You're exactly right. <laughs> but, hey, Stephanie, how are you, baby? And uh, this jar, the pint size uh, fruit jar of miscellaneous buttons is $12, and it is number 52. $12, number 52. Oh, Michelle, that'd be so neat. You know, just because you think about them when you see them sitting around. Maria, you got the button jar, sweet baby. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Maria. Solo layout. 52 is Maria, California. All right, I have an offer up for, for an Anna Lee doll. What you going to start it at, baby? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, $12. It's, I believe, a mouse with its long tail. Oh, see that long tail. <laughs> Let me show you the tag.
That says 96. What does it say? Yep. Buddy? yep. It's 96. Annalee 96. Uh -huh. And it says New Hampshire, USA. Made only in Meredith. Oh, this is the back. This is her front. And she's the posable kind that you can bend her arms and legs and stuff. Yep. Okay, we have her um, arms are moving. Belinda's at 12. And that's the, yeah, uh, Maria, I think I do, baby. But don't, if I don't, I can get it from somebody else or, or I can, uh, you can e go ahead and email me if you want to. Okay, if there's no one else, then I'm going to count from three. Uh, now there's Denise. So that's. Now Belinda's at 14. So Hey Denise. Hey it, baby one and two, Fat Bird Finds. Denise is at 15. So I'm going to count down. Whoop. Uh, Belinda's at 16. So I'm going to count down from three, two, one, stop. So Belinda got it for $16. Thank yep. you to you both. Thank you, Belinda. Say, y'all know how uncoordinated I am. Do you know you're so doing fine? Long. I'm at, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Man, this thing's going slow for some reason. Okay, up next, I have a pair of these beautiful, these are uh 925 sterling, and it is these uh long fish hook. Drop earrings that are just plain, but they're so dressy and pretty. They are just shine. I mean, just so pretty. And they're just versatile. You can wear them with anything. Really, and, and to be so showy, they're, they're not heavy at all to me. And this pair of sterling silver drop earrings are $16 and they're number 31. Sixteen dollars, number thirty-one. <laughs> so boho, Crick, Crick is this so boho? Janet Green, thank you, Janet. I got you for those, baby. Okay, let's see. Janet. All right, up next, I have two vintage dolls with crocheted dresses. One is yellow. Oh. And one is pink. So I'm going to show you the yellow one first. And this is going to be by choice. They're both made in Hong Kong. I don't know the exact year um, because I, I'm i afraid if I take the dress off, I'll either ruin it or I won't be able to get it back on. Because um, I've tried to pull it down to see and I can't, just can't get it down far enough to see the bottom of the doll. But the back of the doll says uh, made in Hong Kong. So it's made of yarn and ribbon
Oh, how pretty. You know, that took a lot of work to put that together. Yeah, it's because that ribbon is somehow wound in there like that through that crochet dress. Yeah. And then this is the bottom of the, of the yellow one. And let me show you the pink. Now, the, the difference in these, the yellow, she doesn't have shoulder straps. It's just pulled up on her bust. Good night, Maria, honey. Thank you for coming, baby. The pink one, she has shoulder straps. Oh, my God. I love the pink. And then that's the bottom of the pink one. Oh. How so they're going to, you're getting, it's by choice. So the first person that, oh, the table moved. The per, first person that um, types in the number can choose either yellow or pink um, or both. So it's $12, number two, $12, number two. Oh, those are so cute. Okay, Hazel L, I see you with uh, one of them. Hold them up together up there, baby. Okay, Hazel, which one do you want, baby? The pink, the yellow, or both of them? You want one? You want the yellow one or the pink one? Hmm. Well, did she, she type two and then she typed one? So I don't know. <laughs> you right? I guess so. Hazel wants the pink, please. Okay. Would anybody like the yellow one for twelve dollars? <laughs> Southern Mermaid. The pink is pretty too, yes. Okay, if anybody wants the pink, you can put in um to in the chat and let us know. But well, Hazel wants the, the pink yellow. one. The yellow. So if any, right, if yeah, anyone Hazel wants the yellow one. Yeah. Right. Okay. So if anyone wants the yellow, just type yellow. Yeah. Thank you, Hazel. Okay. Up next, I have this old, I don't know how old this is because she did not date it, but this is Polly Griffin, and it is just a beautiful uh, oil on this uh, board uh, canvas with just a, just a real crude like blue vase with flowers in it and she signed it down there but she didn't date it and it's got this little bitty um old vintage easel with it just just as cute as it can be and the picture is this is just so shabby chic it's ridiculous the picture is five inches long and it's four inches wide and it is just a so so pretty but really, really shabby chic looking. And you get the, the painting and the little easel to um, display it on. Well, unless I throw it at the computer another time. And um, the painting and the easel is $10 for both of them. And it's number 34. $10 for both of them. And it's number 34. Margo just paid my invoice. <laughs> Sheila Putnam, I see you for that one, baby. Thank you so much, Sheila. I appreciate that. Hey, Judy. 
Yes, thank you for coming to give us a thumbs up. We appreciate that, darling. I know. Thank you, baby. I hope you get a good night's sleep and have a wonderful day tomorrow, too, baby. All right. I have some jewelry that's uranium, so I'm going to turn some of my lights off. You have what? I have some uranium jewelry, so I'm going to turn some of my lights off. Oh. So this is a pair of earrings. Turn it off. in a church and you're not going to be able to see it hmm. nope no nope. did you hold were it you farther away and see maybe if you hold the uh no the light farther away from the ear no But if they saw the so pictures they in the previews, they know it. They know that they're. Um... <laughs> yes, they do glow, Southern Mermaid. Cricket yeah. says you can see it. They do glow. They have uranium. It's little bottles. That is so cute. And there's uranium inside the bottles. Can you give me that other flashlight over there, please? Let me try another light. That's not as bright. Thank you, Maria. No, it's just not going to work. Yeah. But anyway, they do glow really bright. So this was going to be an offer up. Starting at twelve dollars. Okay, I offer up starting at twelve dollars on the pair of uranium earrings and the little bottles. Crickets at twelve. Those are so cute. Did you make those? No, I, I bought these. Oh, they're so cute. Sandra Loses at 14. Even how they made the little top is so cute. Crickets at 15. Trisha's at 17. Cricket's out. Thank you, Cricket. So if, let's see, Sandra or Diane uh, don't want to bid any longer, then it looks like, who has a? It looks like Patricia Gessner has the high bid at 17. All right. Well, I will count down from three, two, one, stop. Aw, poop. Sold to Patricia for $17. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. And everyone oh, else that bid. Okay, up next is a little thing, that another little thing that I made, and it is a butterfly brooch. 
and it has this ring on the bottom. See, it's just a, a pin. And I've taken these butterflies and bonded them together on this uh, piece of metal here or piece of brass and attach this brass ring so when you wear it you can hang your glasses in here when you take them off like you wear it and then when you take your glass well i don't even have my glasses in here you take your glasses off you can just hang the leg of them in there and it keeps them handy for when you, you know if you have to take them off or something and then put them back on and then it's still a pretty brooch there and nobody even knows what it's for except for you but the little butterfly brooch glass holder eyeglass holder i guess i should say it's ten dollars and it's number 38 ten dollars number 38 <laughs> congratulations patricia yes <laughs> yay yeah peterson that's why i made it because i couldn't ever keep up with mine barbara and bundo i see you for that one thank you honey barbara bundo oops okay thank you so much barbara all right then i'm gonna go to the next pair of earrings these are different but they are also uranium and we're just going to sell those for the same price that the last one sold for are those little teardrop shapes Yes. So these will be $17, number 19. $17, number 19. And thank Sandra, you. thank you very much. You're welcome, Barbara. Oh, thank you, Steph. And thank you. Um, who else was that? Cricket. Thank y'all so much. Let's see. And thank you, Sandra. Let's see. Mm, so low. Okay. Up next, I have this sweet little salt and pepper set. And it's these cute little birds and they're sitting in a, a, a porcelain tray made out to be a nest. And when they sit in here, they look like they're kissing each other, but they're done very, very well. There's not anything wrong with them. No flaws or anything like that. They both have their stoppers and the little tray has the divot, you know, where they, rest down in there and it's painted really really pretty like the branch on a tree so when they're sitting there you know it looks like they are sitting in a little nest and they're just cute as they can be just as cute as they can be and this little set of salt and pepper shakers is twelve dollars and it's number 49 twelve dollars number 49 <laughs> patricia says you are killing me Smoochy birdies. That's right, Peterson. Gia Schaefer, I see you for the little birdies, baby. Thank you so much. I have this. And I'll be honest, I don't know what its purpose is. This is the top. This is the bottom. Huh. And it does not come apart. Or at least I can't get it to come apart. But it's a brass piece. And it it's very vintage and it it has um been well loved but I'm i don't know not, what in the world that would be for what do y'all think that is i i have no idea 
Does anyone in the chat know? I don't At know. first, when you when you first started showing it, I thought maybe it might be like something that you would put potpourri or something in. But if it don't open, that's I, what I that's what I thought. But I cannot get the top from the bottom. I mean, this is where it's sealed. Huh. Fire ember move. Mover. Hmm. I don't know. It does look like it something that came from India, but I don't know. Pole warmer. I don't know, but $12, <laughs> number 16, $12, number 16. It's interesting, and it would look good next to a fireplace, which is what I would do with it if I kept it. It may just be a cool decorative piece. Yeah. Thank you, Cricket. Cricket got that one. Yes, thank you. Poor Patricia says, between me and you, she's spending all of her allowance. <laughs> <laughs> I do too, Southern Mermaid, where you don't even know. Because I, I sure thought it was a uh, potpourri thing. Okay, up next I have a gold tone butterfly set. It's a pretty little butterfly brooch. And you'd be able to see your fabric through it. You know, it's it. The wings are um open. It's just got um wires coming down. You know, for the uh, wings and the little matching earrings to go with it. Ah, oh, to go with it. Just real dainty and sweet little set of the earrings and the and the brooch. Hey, Nate, how are you doing? Nap for a very long time. <laughs> I don't blame you. I would be too. And the this little set of the uh, bro the butterfly brooch and earrings is twelve dollars for the set, and it's number thirty seven. Twelve dollars, number thirty seven. How's mom and dad doing, Nate? Nate Nader. <laughs> and we get the butterflies down and get some bling. Hi, Nate. No, she does not, Deanna. She thinks I'm resting up to come and cook her birthday supper tomorrow. All oh, right, I, I have three owls. I have Speak No Evil. See No Evil. And Hear No Evil. <laughs> oh. Yeah, those are bigger than they look like in the picture, aren't they? Yeah, they are... About six inches tall. So they're pretty big. And these are $24, number eight, for the three. $24, number eight. Thanks, Gia. I'll put you down for those. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Up next, I have another new set of uh, earrings and necklace. And this is a set that I got from Talbot's and I've never even worn them. It is semi-precious stones on the necklace and the earrings. And they have beautiful, it's um, like, I, it's all, every color just about it in the rainbow is on this. It's a little double strand necklace on a gold link chain. And the earrings just, you know, match it. They have the same stones in the earrings. The earrings are lever back because that's my favorite. So anytime I buy any, I try to buy that kind because the, they're just comfortable to me and easy to wear. You don't have to worry about the backs and nothing. And it's just a real feminine and, and it just moves real good. You know, it just it's just light and feminine and I just think it's so pretty, but I just, you know, I don't work anymore, so I don't wear them. But this little set uh, new with tags from Talbot's is $16 for the set and it's number 39. $16, number 39. I know it, Southern Mermaid. You can fall asleep in them. Katie Boo. Gabrielle Lish, you got them, baby. Thank you, darling. Hey, Liv, congratulations, baby. <laughs> Let me see. Solo layout. All right. Now, some of you may have seen this before. I tried to show it the first sale um, with Pam, um, but my the internet connection wasn't good enough for you to see it. So. It's a blue, cobalt blue base, and it has a peacock on the front of it. Well, since it didn't sell, I was going to go ahead and just keep it for myself because I loved the blue and the gold. But then I found the ginger jar that matched it. It has the same scene on it. So I'm going to offer them as a set, as a pair. Oh. So the vase is 10 inches tall. The ginger jar is six and a half inches tall. So you'll be getting both pieces for $20 number four both pieces for twenty dollars number four hi Teresa Okay, up next I have this beautiful hand-painted piece right here. The background is pink, and then it's got all of these beautiful flowers painted and these dragonflies in gold. And it is a wall pocket, and it is a piece of Limoges. And it is, let's see how long. It is seven and three quarter inches long and it is four and a half inches wide. And it is just done very beautifully and it does not have any flaws to it whatsoever. No damage or anything. And it's just finished off so, so pretty. Just really, really pretty piece. And this Limoges wall pocket with the flowers and the dragonflies is $16 and it's number 50. $16, number 50. Thanks, Angela. 
Gabby, you got that one, baby. Thank you. Those are great for keeping your scissors in. I, I know you ain't supposed to, but I keep mine in a pair in one of them. Let's see. That's a good idea. There you go, baby. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you. Okay, I have this big bowl. Now, I thought that it was flashed, but I have scrubbed this. I have scraped the stickers and tape off. I cannot get it to show any signs of being flashed. Um, so, I don't think that it is. But well, if I you scrubbed it and it still got paint on it, it's not flashed. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not flashed. But I just thought the way that the colors were and they just blend together was so beautiful. And I like the top where it's, it's got this and it's not just flat all, all around the top. So I'm just asking $15. And it's number 21. $15, number 21. Oh, wait, I didn't even measure it for you. It's five and a half inches tall. And across the top, the opening is nine inches. And Michelle at Mermaid Co., thank you. Wait a minute, Mr. L. Page. Oh, oh was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Thank you, Randy. Sorry about that, Michelle. I think. Let me go back up here and look and make sure. Here, I'll look. Yes, it was Randy. Okay. Sorry about that, Michelle. <coughs> okay, let's see. Okay, up next, I have another piece of sterling silver, and it is this beautiful rope chain bracelet with the lobster claw clasp and a puffy trunk up elephant charm. And it is just precious. It is seven and a quarter inches. It's a seven and a quarter inch bracelet. And the little elephant is just precious. Just precious. And this chain is really nice. If you can see that going. And this little bracelet with the sterling silver elephant charm and the sterling silver bracelet is $24. And it's number 54. $24, number 54. Hey, Michelle at Mermaid Cove. How are you? Barbara and Bundo, I see you for number 54, baby. Thank you. I appreciate that. Barbara and Bundo. Whoop. There it goes. I have this pink rose bowl um satin so it's very smooth it does have one little chip that it has gotten um on the inside so when it's sitting here you can't tell that it has it but I was rubbing my fingers on the inside and felt it. It's on the inside here. It's a small chip. And then there's a there's two little bubbles. Let me try to get it where you can see it. Can you see the, the see little it. bubble? Yeah. yeah, there's two little bubbles. One there. 
and one there. They're not chips or cracks or anything. It's it's a bubble in the in the bowl. But anyway, this is it goes from light to dark on the top. And this is a little over three and a quarter inches tall. And it's eighteen dollars, number twelve. Eighteen dollars, number twelve. Ombre. Nate is just a natural attractant. I agree. I agree. Sabrina, where will you be shipping from, baby? I'll, I'll be shipping from Virginia. From Virginia. Okay. Barbara I use, pirate. I use pirate ship, so it's the cheapest. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, up next I have this cute little solid brass elephant. And he has the most fabulous patina. He is old and he is solid brass. He's a cute little trunk up elephant with his ears all flared out. I hardly ever find them with their ears um, flared out, you know. But he is just gorgeous. If you want me to polish him, I will. But I prefer the old look on them. You know, he is eight inches long and he is four and a quarter inches tall. And he is just as cute as he can be. Just as cute as he can be. And the little trunk up solid brass elephant is $16 and he's number 45. $16, number 45. Yes, he wants peanuts. Okay, Maria, I sure will, baby. Nate, if you've got an Ouija board in your house, you need to get it out of there right now. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. Y'all just tempting fate, see? These youngins, you can't you can't talk to these youngins no more. You just can't talk to them. You can't teach them nothing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Sabrina. Oops, I was fixing a mute. There you go. <laughs> I have an offer up. Um, it is going to start at fifteen dollars. Okay. And it is Little Red Riding Hood. It is um, the flop it, flip it doll because it's three in one. It's a vintage doll. Um, this is Little Red Riding Hood. And then you flip it. Oh. And this is Grandma. Or you flip it again, and it's the big bad wolf. I had one of those when I was little, but I don't remember. It wasn't the uh, big bad wolf and Little Red Riding Hood. It was somebody. It was three other things, and I can't think of what it was. So if anyone's interested, um, starts at fifteen dollars. Yeah, most of them Southern Mermaid. You just have two, but this one's three. Mm. 
Diane said, I see a lot of people had it. I I had one like that, but it was not the the big bad wolf and little red riding hood. I can't think of what it was. Was it the three bears and the the house and the three bears? I can't think. Maybe the pigs and the I don't remember. And the big bad wolf, I don't know. It was something like that. Hmm. Well, if no one's interested, we'll okay. move on. Okay, up next I have uh, the last of these little um, eyeglass holders. This one is a little sunflower. And it's got just a little small brass ring down underneath it. And it does pin. It's like you wear it like a brooch. And then this is to hang your glasses, eyeglasses or sunglasses when you take them off. And then um, you just keep it on all day and put them there whenever you want to. And this little, the sunflower one with the little bitty ring on it is thir uh, $8. And it's number 36. $8, number 36. Goldilocks, that was it, y'all. That was it. I think it was Goldilocks, Grandma, and the Three Bears or something like that. Of course, Gabby. I mean, anybody that buys anything from me tonight, I'm not going to invoice you till after Saturday night anyway to see, to combine it so you don't get two invoices and all that stuff. Hey, many Viking treasures. I didn't even see you there, baby. Okay, so let's see. Nobody wants a little flower. So we'll go to... Hmm. Why won't this get back up there? I'm steadily clicking on it. There it goes. It's just taking its own little time. There you go. Okay, there you go, baby. The next item is Raggedy Ann and Andy. Let me try to get it so you can see it. And then it's got a measuring tape on the side. So she's flying a kite. Let me... Pull it up so you can see the bottom. Oh, is that cross stitched? It is. It's a. It's cross stitch. Oh. And then he's holding the tail of the um kite. And then there's flowers at the bottom. try to turn oh, yeah. and see. That is so cute. So if you're you can hang it on the wall or you can lay it on uh, a table and use the measuring tape on that's sewed on the side. That is so cute. So you can use it two different ways. You can put it on the wall and measure a child's height if they're really small. Or you can lay it on a table if you're sewing or wanting to cut or measure fabric or ribbon. And use this because it starts at one inch and only goes to 36 inches. Oh. And this is going to be fifteen dollars, number fifteen. Fifteen dollars, number fifteen. That is so sweet. Hey, Doug. Hey, Sally Costa.
Hi, Teresa B. <clears throat> yes, it is, Janet. Okay, up next I have a Art Glass Hummingbird Feeder, and this is just really pretty. Hold on, let me get it out. It comes with a hook to hang it and everything, and it is this beautiful blue with a swirl in it. And it comes with the spout, you know, that you put on it. The little stopper goes down here, and then, you know, they feed through here. And it has the hook, so you can hang it over a branch or anything in a tree. And it's just made, it's, it's thick glass, though. It's not like, um, see how thick that glass is? It's not like flimsy uh, Christmas ornament glass, like real frail, fragile Christmas ornament glass. It is just really well made. Cause see how thick the the hanger is. Deanna says, <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna she's not gonna be mad. Uh uh, she's not, she won't be mad. She knows not to say too much to me, or I won't cook. This beautiful art glass hummingbird feeder is $12 and it's number 46. $12, number 46. Oh, that's a great price for that. Mm hmm. Who made this? Gardening culture. Um, Gia Schaefer, you got that one, baby. Thank you so much. I'll wrap that up real good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Man, this thing is lagging bad. All right. Well, I have a piece of custard glass. Ooh. Yes, it's uranium and it does glow. Don't know. I'm gonna be able to. Let me see if I can turn off. Since this is bigger, I'm sure I can get it to show up. Let me get some lights off. Is it gonna be an offer up, baby? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Starting at 15. Hi, Christy. I just don't get this. It's glowing so much on my end. I mean, the whole thing is shining bright green on my end. But it's not doing anything on your end. Oh, well, now you can start to see it. I see. I see Sheila at 16. Oh, there you go. You can start seeing Oh, yeah. Here. That's really pretty. The custard glass just glows the best yeah. of any of it, I think, to me. Yeah, because it's, it's glowing so good on my end. I can see that a lot better than I could the earrings. Yeah, it's, it's glowing really, really good. Um, I want to get... A measurement for you. Okay. It 
It is about five and a half inches tall. Now there's That's no good chips. Size. Yeah, there's no chips or cracks. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It was extremely dirty, but it's very clean now. It's one of those little gourd ones too. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that a while ago. Yeah, it's very pretty. Okay, so let's see. I lost it. Diane Broderick's at 18. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So, the mermaid, I've never found a, a custard glass button before. Melon shaped. You're right, Vintage Viking Treasures. I couldn't think right. of it. Is it marked on the bottom? Is the little Fenton circle mark on the bottom? Mm, let me check again. Thank you, Peterson. No, it's not. Um, you can tell that it had a sticker. Oh, okay. So it had a sticker. Um, it might have been a Fenton before they started putting that, <clears throat> like pre-1970. I can't remember if it was 72 or 73. Yeah. Christie's got it at 22. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is Fenton. Mm hmm It looks like it. Yeah, Southern Mermaid, that's what I was thinking. When they had just the stickers. Mm-hmm. Listen to Randy egging her on. Go, Christy, go. <laughs> <laughs> Diane is out. So Christy has it at uh twenty two. Okay. All right. So let me start calling it. I'll count down from three, two, one, stop. Christy has her own glow. Ah. <laughs> thank you, Christy, and thank you to everyone else who bid on it. Okay, let's see. Okay, up next is a, a set, and I know y'all don't know this, this company right here, but Thomas Jewelers has been an old family jewelry company here in Tuscaloosa since like the late 1800s. And I mean, this doesn't go back that far by no means, but it is, uh, like the early 50s, I would think. It's before 1960 anyway. And inside is six salt shell, salt cellars, a crystal made in Czechos, handmade in Czechoslovakia. And I'm just going to hold them up like this. You can see that there's six in here. But look how cute they are. They are cut so cute, like a little hexagon. I mean, you can see that. And then they all still have the stickers in the bottom saying that they are hand <laughs> handmade in Czechoslovakia. And it says American Cut Crystal Corporation made in Czechoslovakia, handmade crystal. And they're just, they're all in perfect condition. And it, Good night, Steph, baby. Thank you for coming in. And um, you get the whole set of six of them is $16 for the all six. And they are 40, number 47. $16, number 47. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, Patricia, I got you for number 47, baby. Thank you so much. Let's see. So. Now, I have two wall hangings. They are left in China and hand painted. This is one of them. This is the gentleman. Oh. They are so well done. They're hand painted. And they're so nicely done. And this is the woman. And she is just beautiful. Oh, and I'm so yes, worried that, about, yes. I, about her hand. I think Auntie Christie's right. I think it's Blue Boy and Pinky. Oh, really? Uh huh. Okay. But they and they both have the little hangers back here, the holes for you to hang them on the wall. But her hand is so delicate. I'm, I'm surprised that it wasn't broken off in the thrift store. I'm surprised too. I mean, there's and there's nothing wrong with either one of them. They have oh. no flaws at all. How pretty. They're very pretty. And so these are going to be 20, but for the both of them, $28 number nine for the pair it's twenty eight dollars number nine those are so cute yes yeah, you saved them you're right baby i see margo for those vintage peep show thank you margo Oh, thank you, Margo. I only have two things left, Sabrina. But you, okay. if you got more left. Oh, you ought to show the other earring, your uh, other uranium earrings while Christy's here. Okay, up next, I have a three-piece car interior set. And this is transfer wear, um, a floral transfer wear set. And I think this is made for your vanity because it's got this square frame, which takes a three and a half by three and a half picture, or it has a three and a half by three and a half opening. The round frame that has a two and a half by two and a half opening. And then it has the little bud vase. And I just think this is precious. It's the three piece Dang, gum and I hate this thing. The three piece set, the vase, and the two frames. And the set is $20 for all three pieces, and it's number 51. $20, number 51. <laughs> yes, hey, Coco. I wish he would. Okay. Oops, snipe. I've done, I almost dropped everything. Hold on, baby child. Let me get her back up here. All right. Tell him, Peterson. Tell Nate, it's not bad. <laughs> We're trying to talk Nate into going live. <laughs> he needs to. All right. I have this art glass controlled bubbles vase, and it's beautiful. And this is the one thing I mean, that I 
would be just as happy if you didn't buy, but I'm bringing it here. <laughs> so if you like it, go ahead and buy it. But it does have controlled bubbles all the way through. Um, and the, the t you can see the top um, that it one side is shorter than the other. Um, the bottom is smooth. It is signed and dated. But I, I could not really make out the signature. It says, the best that I can guess is V-I-T-U-G-O. But I could not find anything under that name. So, and I'm guessing the, with the last three letters. Um, so I'm not sure. But it's, it's also dated 2007. And it's it's blue, um, it's lighter blue at the bottom, and as the as you go further up, it gets darker. Oh, I'm sorry, Pam. This is an offer up. Oh, sorry. I no, it's my fault. Sorry. It starts at 25. Okay. Sorry. And it is eight inches tall. That is so pretty. It is. Bye, Angela, honey. Thank you for coming, baby. Night, Carrie. Good Thank night. Thank you for coming. So it's right at eight inches tall, and the opening is two inches wide. But it's a beautiful blue color. That is so pretty. So if anyone's interested, type in 25. And if not, we can move on. Hey, Annabella, how are you, honey? Okay, oh, I see okay. Hazel. It does, doesn't it, Southern Mermaid? <laughs> it's not, I promise. <laughs> so I see Hazel first at 25. Annabella Treasure Finds. You need to go 26 or more. That is a pretty blue color. I it can is. see it real good on my uh, phone, better than it's showing up on my laptop. Annabella's at 28. I get closer, maybe you can see the, the bubbles. They make a spiral around it. Mm hmm Hazel L's at 30. Not sure if you're going to be able to see the signature, but. What did you say you thought it was? V I T U G O. The two and it's girls. dated 2007. Oh, okay. I love blue glass. Blue glass is Kelly's favorite. She's starting to collect it too, Annabella. Okay, if there's anybody going past Hazel at 30. Hazel, I I can't 
say any. I don't know enough about Murano. I mean, I, I don't I, either. So I. It I mean, looks I know that, like it, but I know it has control bubbles. I know that it's a smooth bottom, but I'm. And it looks like it's good quality glass too. Good yeah, night, Margo. Thick, Thank you for coming, and it's baby. Heavy, but I. I'd have to say no. I just don't. Or I don't. I don't have enough experience with Murano. Annabelle is at thirty-three. I hope you have a good day tomorrow, Margot. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hazel, are you out, honey? Or she's yeah. out now. Okay. So Annabella is at 33. Uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and start counting down from three, two, one, stop. Sold for $33 to Annabella. Thank, Thank you, Annabella. You. Okay. Okay, this is my last item. And it is a new uh, purse. This is washable. It's like um, vinyl. It's a, it's a shoulder strap that is completely adjustable. Um, and it is just really pretty. It's, it's got a garden theme. It's from, matter of fact, it's from the garden center. It is um, flowers all over. And it's, it's a mixture of black and white and the um the color it's got butterflies it's just really really pretty it has a zipper top with a pull tab and inside it has a big center um a big center area just a big center pocket it has an outside pocket it doesn't have any inside pockets but it does have a deep um, outside pocket. And both of the zippers have this nice, thick, sewn pull tab on them. And it's a good size. You know, it's, it's just a good size for carrying. So. But the strap is just, like I said, it's completely adjustable. And you could make it as long as a crossbody if you wanted to. But it is just really, really pretty. And the hardware is very, very well made. I mean, it's just, it's a well-made purse. And this beautiful little garden theme purse is $14. And it is number 48. $14, number 48. Yeah, congratulations, Annabelle. You got a good start on your blue glass. Okay, let's see. Get her back up here. Okay. Do you have some more stuff, baby? Um, well, I have one more, and then okay. if it's okay, I'll just quickly run through what didn't sell. Okay, go ahead, baby. Um, I have this Russian doll. Oh, sorry. And it's a set, it's a set of five. The little nesting dolls. Yep. And that's the little one. How cute. So it's a set of five. And that's going to be $15. Number 10. $15, number 10. Mm 
I am too, Katie. Denise right. Nasser. Thank you, Denise. Oh, thank you, Denise. Let me get that written down real quick, and we'll just quickly go through what did not sell. Okay. If you have time, do you have time, Pam? Sure. I already got the boat butt from being soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> um okay let's check this paperweight out it has a smooth bottom and this paperweight um it was 15 um i can do 12 at number one, $12, number one. Oh, Patricia, I got you for the purse, baby. I see you. The Rose Bowl. Um, it was lighter pink, goes to the darker pink. And remember, there was a tiny chip on the inside of the rim here. It was $18. Um, I can do $15. Number 12. $15, number 12. Um, I don't remember if I showed this or not, but real quickly, there's this blue lit it candy dish it's got grapes hey, on the outside what's that i was telling terry hey i'm sorry oh no you're fine it has grapes on the outside of it and it has this open lace on on the outside it is lit it. Um, fourteen dollars on that number five. Fourteen dollars well, number five. Arito Jewels by Lydia. Thank you, honey. Welcome. Annabella got Thank the blue. You, Annabelle. Yeah. Well, see there, Annabella, you've already got two pieces towards your blue collection. Yes, baby, I had you for the purse. I'm sorry. I thought you heard me. Um, I have the green hobnail. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's Fenton and it's probably lost its sticker but it doesn't have any markings on the bottom. It's got the cat on the front. Oh. Um, I can do 15. Number 13. $15, number 13. Night, Dana, honey. Thank you so much for coming, baby. You're welcome, Patricia.
the little red riding hood um, and grandma. <laughs> <laughs> And then the wolf. That is just so cute. Um, let me see what that was. I can do $22 on that, number 18. $22, number 18. For the little red riding hood. Yep. There, we still have the yellow doll left. The pink one sold, but we still have the yellow one. And it was 12. I can do the yellow one for 10. Um, and let me, that number was two. Ten dollars, number two. Oh, Nate, I need you here. Crazy into um, food prep. Stuart, can you hear me that? Um, let's do one uh, more thing, and it's an offer up. I forgot to do it. Okay. Um, let's start it off at $25. Okay. All Is right. This I here. You get the stand and all five bottles. That looks so Victorian, don't it? It is, and it's so cute. Um, I'll show you each bottle and then show you the decoration on the stand. But you get this, and then there's it's silver tone on all of the pieces on the top. Mm -mm -mm. So you get two of those. There's one of these. It started at 25, baby. I typed that in, didn't I? Yeah, yes, 25. Let me do it again in case I. And then there's two of these. Now, there is some chips on the bottom of the stoppers. Well, Lordy Mercy, it's a hundred and something years I mean, old. Yeah, it's over a hundred years old. So you're going to have some wear. But other than that, there's a little tiny chip right there on this one. But considering its age, this is in very good condition. Um, and then on here, you have this design going around it. Tippy Winks Vintage is at 25. Thank you, Christy. And then that's all the way around it. So you have it on both sides. And then on the bottom here. You have. Flowers. That is so pretty. And then on the top here, I'm running out of room. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> You have this as well. Mm. Denise Nasser is at 26. 
Sabrina, before you put the bottles back in there, can you look on the bottom or anything and see if there's a maker stamped in it anywhere? I looked and I couldn't find anything, but I I did not look on the stand. So let me check again. Oh, wait, there is something on the stand. This is WR quadruple New York and it says 26 Denise is at 29 Christy's at 30. Let me look at the, on the bottles again. Me too, Katie. I eat them like that too. Yeah, there's nothing on the bottles. But on the stand. I don't know what WR would be though, but... I, I mean, that don't mean anything. Yeah, it says at the top, it says quadruple. And then it says WR in larger uh -huh. letters. And then at the bottom, it says New York. And then it says 26. Let me see if I can. No, I'm not going to be able to. It. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that talented. <laughs> but okay christy's at 30 it's a really neat set i like it a lot it is very neat denise is at 32 Okay, well, we're going to have to start counting it down really soon. Michelle Lee's at 34. Yeah, it is, Gabby. It sure okay. is pretty. Chris, Christy's at 35. Show one of the bottles again, baby. Are the bottles textured in any way? I missed that. Well, see, on on oh, these, I see. it's textured here. Yeah. And they Dennis all Viking are. Viking Treasure says it's WR means William and Rogers. Williams okay. and Rogers. Okay. That makes sense. And they're all textured in this spot. So they... What happens is this piece drops down. Peter uh, Peterson says they're asking how tall it is, the overall height of the stand and everything. Okay, that's a good question. Hold on. Just Michelle Lee is out. So right now it looks like Tippy Winks and Denise Nasser. It, it's, it's almost 16 inches tall. And that's up to here. Okay. And the tallest bottle is about nine and a half inches tall. Okay, baby. Randy's at 42. Those bottles are just amazing to me. How they fit down in there, you know? Right. So this fits down in there and it stops right here where it gets larger. Yeah. And then you've got this texture that sits ab above on the stand. And that's on all the bottles. That's This is how all the bottles are shaped. Those are just amazing. I love that. Christy's at 46. I know it, Peterson. 
Yeah, I'd never seen one this nice before. Usually they, they're missing the bottles or they're missing this finial piece at the top. Mm -hmm. Randy's out. So Christy's got it at 46. That is so cute. Yeah. This opens up. Denise is at 48. Christy's at 49. So okay. is Christy the last one in? Yeah. Denise, no. Denise was at 48 and then Christy. Oh, Denise is out now. So it's Christy. Right. All right. So I'm going to start counting down at three, two, one, stop. And I'm selling it to Christy for $49. Thank That's you, Christy. Beautiful. And thanks everyone else. <laughs> Bye, Nate. We got to go, too. Big yeah. love to you, too, baby. And big love to Ronnie and to Dad both. You know, have everyone, day, I, have a, I have a quick question. Okay. If, um, if I were to do, like, a really quick, less than, maybe, like, 30 or 40 minutes, a pop-up sale, like, tomorrow morning, just selling brooches and jewelry. Would anyone come to it? I, well, depending on the time, but I I would. I've got an estate sale in the morning, but depending on what time, I would do it. It would be probably... My husband just left the room. 11. Okay. Do you a promo and put it on Instagram and uh, do it on your YouTube channel too. Okay. 11 o'clock a.m. pop up. Katie said she'll yeah. be there for brooches. <laughs> Am I in before the sold? Let's see. Let me see, Terry. Oh, did someone? No, baby. You came in. Nate said he had to go, and then you said 50, and then Gabby said bye, Nate. And all that was after the soul, baby. I'm sorry. Good night, Janet. Whew, we got to go, too. I got to get in the shower and wash this thunderstorm off of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for coming for us so much. We sure do appreciate it. Sabrina wanted to have a sale while she was in Ohio because the uh, internet was so much better there than it was at her house. Yeah. They're going to move there. She's excited. Are y'all looking for a house or y'all already found a house? We've already purchased the house. Um, oh, good. But we're not going to officially be moved in until the end of June, I think. Okay. Well, that'll be exciting then. Yes. Okay. Thanks y'all so much for coming and hanging out with us. Yes. Thank uh, you. I really appreciate it. This night especially. <laughs> <laughs> but I love y'all and I'll see all of y'all uh, Saturday night at my live sale. If I don't see you tomorrow morning at uh, Sabrina's little pop-up. And I love y'all. And have a wonderful day tomorrow, everybody. Good night, everyone. <laughs>